Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while. It's been a long while. I wanted to do some kind of content. I've really been lacking. A lot's been going on here lately. I wanted to sit and talk about a few things because I do have a little bit of time. I just got back home from just getting some bills paid and my kids are asleep. So I wanted to take this time before I go in and go clean my house like crazy. Just sit down and talk about some things that have been going on lately. And just give y'all a little update. It feels like every time I talk to y'all, it's another update because I go so long between making videos that it's like, oh, well, this, 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 and this has happened in my life since I last spoke with y'all. I think the last time we spoke with y'all, we had talked about Randall had gotten his CDL. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% positive. But I guess I'll just go from there. Randall did get his CDL, his um, permit, and then he actually got his CDL license. And he stayed with that company for a couple months. He actually just left this past week. I was a temp for a company that manages journeys, lids, and little burgundy. So it's pretty cool. I was actually a call center agent for this company. It was a pretty cool experience. Again, I was only a temp, so it was only like a four week experience experience. So it has been like a couple years since I actually have worked. Back in 2016, right before we found out um, that we were pregnant with our daughter, I was actually working at Academy Sports and Outdoors, the actual warehouse. Um, but that I was only there for a little while. I tried to stick it out the most that I possibly could. Um, I was actually going to stay with the company, but because I got pregnant and there's like no heat there, it just didn't mesh well with my morning sickness. And of course, you know, morning sickness is not just morning sickness. Morning sickness is all day sickness. So unfortunately, it was very hard for me to work there. And even though I did get an excuse, if you will, from my baby doctor saying, hey, give her light load, they really didn't have light work for me that would keep me busy all day long to be productive in the company. So I went ahead and I actually did quit that job. And I had a couple other jobs um, when I was pregnant with her. I had two more jobs when I was pregnant with her. And then right after I had her, I actually worked for a few months um, with his great grandmother. And because I'm not married into the company, the company that they were actually going through was okay with me taking care of his great grandmother. So we were able to do that. I was able to take um, our daughter with me. And then I found out I was pregnant with our son. I still work there, but unfortunately they just didn't need me any longer. So I didn't end up staying and I've been a stay at home mom since then. So this was my opportunity to go back to work and it was, it was a great experience. I think the only bad, like negative part to that would be that I had to drive like an hour and a half from my house because it is in like the big city that's within reasonable distance to us. Randall did want me to stay home with the kids, you know, that that's been, that's kind of always been like our mission, if you will, is for me to spend time with the kids and just be able to do things with them without having to drop them off with family or, you know, whatever. In the end, um, you know, I really like to spend time with our children. It sucks that he has to be gone, but we make it. We're completely fine. We're used to him being gone. Of course, he was gone the most while our oldest was growing up. These things happen. You have to make it somehow. This is how we made it. This is how we are making it. This is how we are, you know, struggling to make life better. I've also been spending time with family since he left. It's just easier for me to be around family than it is for me to not be around family or somebody close because that way I can get my mind off of things that bother me. Anyways, it just helps me to keep things off my mind and kind of keep a steady head. Um, like I'm not like this time around, it's different. He was gone and I had a newborn to take care of. And so I struggled really bad. It was the first time I'd really like been without someone because I am very codependent. You know, he was gone quite a bit. In the beginning, he was gone, but he came home every night. Like, he, he had to go drive a couple of towns over. It was a drive. He was gone all day. But he was still able to come home, and then he started, like, having to go out of town. And just, like, it got to 
be the point where he was going further and further out of town. Like, I think the furthest he's been is Chicago. Now, it's different. You know, I have both kids. My hands are very full. Our daughter is about to be two. She's actually going to be two this month. And then... Our son will be one next month. It is easier this time around. Um, I'm uncertain why. I think it's just because, like, I'm finding myself. Like, I'm finding my individuality. Like, I'm finding that life is only hard as, as hard as you make it to be. It's all in your mind, really, um, as to loneliness and... Um, other things like that. Now, I do know that people do struggle. I'm not talking about people that actually do have struggles. I'm talking about someone like me who just doesn't look at their self and be like, you know what? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you making things so much harder than they have to be? You know, this isn't a struggle. You are going to be just fine. Um, you are just fine without somebody here next to you all the time. Um, it does suck because I don't have anyone to help me co-parent. I'm okay. I've done it for so long now that it doesn't bother me anymore. I was wondering when I would be able to just like think about it and just talk to myself and say, you know what, you are completely fine. But I've actually gotten to that point now that I can absolutely say, you're fine. You don't have to have somebody there and make you happy. You don't. I mean, it would be nice to have someone here to help me with the kids. Because, you know, moms do go freaking crazy. But it's fine if I don't have anyone here to help me with the kids. You know, I'm. it's not going to affect how I function and the way I see things every day. I'm just, I'm so happy. Like, I'm happy that my life is becoming less about codependency and more about just being who I am. I guess I'll go ahead and wrap this up though because I know I ramble a lot. But this is kind of like a ramble because why not? In the end, I guess my closing statement would be codependency. Find who you are without your significant other. Be you without your significant other. Even if you have kids. Even if you don't have kids. Just find you. In the end... If you find you, you'll be 100% happier. I promise. It is hard. It does take time. It does take a lot of effort. You'll get there. I got there. You'll get there. And also, if anybody who actually watches... Sorry. <laughs> if anybody who actually watches my videos... I know my family does. So, like, I know my niece does. I know my sister does. My mom might... Don't know about my dad. Um, don't know about my boyfriend because I don't know why he would. But for anyone other than the people that I know who actually watch my vid, for yeah. So for anyone who is outside of my little circle of my family that actually watches my videos, which of course this includes my family too. But if y'all need me for anything, um, like do not hesitate to send me a message. Or you can direct message me on my Instagram. That way, in case you don't want to do it on YouTube, you can do it on Instagram. Or you can just comment directly on my video, a video. It doesn't matter if it's this one. It doesn't matter if it was the first video I ever created. Like, it, it's okay. It's fine. I don't care. But if you have struggles, if you're wanting me to speak about something anything just let me know i am more than happy to talk about any subject that anyone requests me to speak about anything anybody wants to know um i am not like heavily doing makeup right now or anything like that so like i can do a like tutorial if i mean there's a million tutorials here on youtube but if y'all wanted to see something from me, I could do that. I'm not going to guarantee you it's going to look good because I have caterpillar eyebrows, number one. And number two, I'm not pretty. And um, everything's a struggle for me. But if you wanted to see that from me, if you wanted me to speak on any subject, anything, anything, anything. It doesn't matter. Just leave it down below. And give me some love. Um, also, if you have a YouTube channel, link it down below. 
And I will be more than happy to give you love if you have social medias, if they are linked to your YouTube account so I can see that you have those social medias. I will follow you on those social medias as well, other than just YouTube. And then I'll have mine linked down below in the description box so you can find mine. And then I think mine's also linked to my actual YouTube channel. Um, so either way, however you want to find me on my other platforms, just look me up. Um... I am currently only sharing my YouTube Instagram. I'm not sharing my Facebook. I'm not sharing my personal Instagram just because I don't feel comfortable with that because it is personal. But you can follow me on my um, YouTube Instagram and my YouTube um, Facebook page. And that is Lofsa Mother. And then Bullets of Two. Um, of course, it's just the same exact thing as my youtube social media name anyways i have two sleeping sick children back here as well who well there's one of them you can see his little you know, he's waking up and then she's back here i haven't showed y'all um our children yet i have been wanting to do it i actually wanted to do it back when it was still really warm but i never got around to it and he is officially <laughs> awake and talking, so I'm going to go get him in and then get Sissy in. And I actually stopped and got her something to eat, but I wanted her to sleep so her food is cold. I'm going to go take it in and warm it up. That's okay. It happens. It's cool. She'll still eat. But, so yeah. Alright guys, I guess that's it. If y'all need anything else, like I said, I will repeat this until I'm blue in the face. Do not hesitate to get in touch with me and talk to me, comment on my videos. Whatever you want to do, whatever you feel is best, whatever is comfortable to you, just do it. And I will talk to y'all again. I'm not 100% certain when. I do want to make my empties video. It's been a very long time. So I would say probably that is going to be my next video. So yeah, I guess that's it. I will talk to y'all guys in my next video, whichever one that may be. Alright, bye guys. Y'all take it easy.